Hey everybody, our Fiolas here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we dirt about the Safari Zone, getting started on the Safari Zone side quest, and we got Raikou. And today, uh, you can go bug it off. This time, we're going to head out this way. So, um, funny story, when I'm actually going to go ahead and stock up on some Super Repulse, because I remember having issues, because, um, I'm going to say this now. This is not the first episode, this is, this was my second take of this episode. The power randomly blew when I was almost done with the episode, so, um... Yay, Tango Berries. Is there any other... Nope, okay. Okay, I, I should probably go ahead and, uh... Buy three of these. That should be enough. So I can do everything in the cave. Because my goal for this episode is to get get some good progress, so um four rare candies, okay. I'm keeping count of the rare candies because there's something I do want to do this episode. So twenty-seven. That's the magic number. So anyways, the first thing I want to do is head across this water. Eh, I should have said repel. What was I saying again? Oh yeah, so the power randomly blew dur randomly blew anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get the super potion first. So you can go on ahead and get that to the next town, but for a little side quest I wanna go ahead and stop here because as you can see, Suicune is there. Holy oh, hey, Suicune! Suicune, how brave it is! How refreshing it is, how beautiful it is, and how quickly it moves. Potato, you seem to be around where Suicune would appear. Well, that's okay, my desire to search for Suicune is far beyond yours. My grandpa was quite into mess, and I have heard so many stories about Suicune from him. Suicune, I won't stop following you until I found out what you're after. You hear me? Okay, Eugene, so the first thing I'm going to do is head on here because we are now in Mount Mortar. We can do some things here in Mount Mortar. Just going to leave it at that. We can do some things, but not everything. First things first. This water, you can't do anything about the water yet because there's... The reward you get for going through the water isn't available for a while. So, is there anything in the bottom floor? No. So I'm actually recording this in a different order because I was doing the uh, top half of, of Mount Mordor first that we can explore. So anything in here? Nope, we get a full restore. Very useful. I don't think we've had a full restore yet. So a full restore fully heals your HP of your Pokemon and removes any status conditions. Very useful. Now I'd say that's a good end game item. I typically don't use it th them that much. Um, nothing there. Okay. So head on back here, we get ourselves a max ether, alright. But yep. Anything will be on here. I um, I think there's more loot in here. I don't know if there's a team here or not. I have to check. Well let's go get go get uh, all the items. Hype potion. Worth the hype. And a uh, another water, okay. But yeah, anyways, I skipped the Apricorns earlier this episode, anyways, but right there is a strength folder you can't do anything about because it's one way. And such. Anyways. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, the, um... The Apricorn Berries. I don't need Apricorn Berries anymore. Not really. Anyways, we're here to get a PP up. And since we're derping about here and I don't, can't think of anything else to say, there's one new Pokemon available here, and that would be Meryl. Meryl's are... Decent Pokemon, depending on its ability. So, yay. Hello, Goldine. Anyways, Merrells, they are interesting Pokemon. They have hot. They're kind of bulky Pokemon. They have high HP and decent defenses. Its ability makes or breaks them because it has one ability that pretty much makes all, uh. makes its weaknesses, e makes its resistances even more resistant. With thick fat. Or the better ability, huge power, which pretty much doubles its attack stat. Eh. Okay, there's nothing good back here. Just Carbos. 
expect in more EVs. Just, eh. I don't really recommend Meryl that much. They're very rare. They're like a 1% encounter. And plus, you're going to have like 50-50 chance of actually getting a decent ability. So I kind of say pass on Meryl. So that's it, Leia. Down on that floor. Okay, there might have been an item out elsewhere. I don't care. I really don't. So let's go ahead on out, and yeah. So anyways, we have two more... We have one other part of Mount Mortar where we can explore. And that would be over this way. Because, well, we can... We can now do everything we can in Mount Mortar, even though we could do everything a long time ago. So yay! I also remember that there's this... Hyper potion in this rock. Yay for having to re-record things. People, don't abuse your air conditioners. Since summer is coming up, even though right now it's like February, March right now. Yay! So anyways, more Mount Mortar stuff. Yeah, anyways, one other thing about the upper parts is that there are some places you can and cannot access. So yeah, so anyways, back here on the lower floor. If you see this brown stuff, you can go on it right now. If you see the gray stuff, you cannot. I'm gonna leave it at that. So anyways, let's go on ahead and use strength and get through the rest of this place. There's not much more to this place. Well, there's the entire back half, but that's nah, beside the point. So, go down through. Um... Yeah, so up here should be a Max Repel, I think. Nope, Ultra Ball. I'll probably take that for what's coming up. So, nothing else really here. Ooh, item. Want to get this item first? It's a Max Potion. Okay, so the Max Repel is coming up a little bit soon. So, yeah, so it's a good thing I stocked up on Super Repels. I probably should have bought more. I'm kind of dirt broke. Can't help it. Especially when some awesome items are very expensive. So anyways, is this the Max Repel? Nope, it's a Nugget. Okay, I'll happily take the Nugget. I really need the money. Really need it. Epic Voice Cracks. Okay, nothing else there. At least I checked. I'm wasting more steps. Okay, here's an escape rope. Mm, Would have been useful earlier, but nah. You win some, you lose some, you potate. Now that's the story of life. I guess it must have been hidden. I know I'm just going through. Hey, Hugh! I mistake you for someone else. Okay, what about this? I came to explore Mount Mortar, but I got separated from my partner. You should run to a trainer who uses a cedar. That cedar is really good at using waterfall. So, yeah, so that won't be for a while. Oh, there's the Max Repel. You know there's a Max Repel around here somewhere. Might as well go ahead and use another super. So that's actually it here. Because there's a little bit more to this place, but we don't really have much access to it. Because it looks like we need something to climb rocks and a uh, waterfall. So that's going to be interesting. So, we got a revive, okay. I'll take that. Might need it coming up, might not, don't know. Hello, good trainer. I'm not losing this time. Spectre Gear level 24. I lost to some kid. Yeah, you lost again. Yeah, because I already took you down this episode. What is it, Arnie? Potato, good morning, son. Are you sleeping in? Watch Venonet, yada yada yada. I like you got in the Anima, yay, good for you. You got a rare Pokemon. Anyways, we are done here, do you believe? Okay, yeah, because Anima there, we kind of need something to get rocks. At least we can scale. So, we are finally back here on Route 42, so... I know you are a trainer of interest. Let me demonstrate the power Pokemon I caught. Okay, you are a trainer of interest because you are another phone call Pokemon.
Okay, uh... I guess Psybeam since you're a poison type. Nothing really to be done here. Wow, not even a chance. Good game, sir. What? That's not right. Hey, you're you're trying to be the ultimate trainer too, that makes us comrades. If I find any items by the water, I'll give you some. Just let me have your phone number. Okay. You'll be hearing from me if I find something good. What? Hello, you got another useless item. Thank you so much for No. So yeah, so anyways, this is about where the power cut out for me last time, so um People, don't run into telephone poles playing Pokemon Go! If Pokemon Go is still a thing, I still don't know because Pokemon Go is still out. Yeah, because the date of recording this is actually July 16th of 2016. Anyways, I'm going to be training up Wallheart now. I want to get him up to 27 by the episode because I want him to evolve because between episodes, I'm going to be doing some grinding because I do want to get my uh, other Pokemon up. Wallheart grew at 26. I should have used my Moonstone. Well, the guy, the guy inside the cave used a Moonstone. So, got to go Antidote because... Nidorino suck with poison point. You know, that good stuff. I don't have any supers. Super! So, yeah, so pretty much once I get this level up, I should be good. Hello, good hiker. What's on the other side of Mount Mort? What's the other side of Mount Mortar like? Do you know? If you can beat me, I'll let you know. Gwahaha, I lost. Damn right you did. So that's it on this route. Nothing else really here, not even with hidden items. Now let's head on into Mahogany Town. Mahogany Town, home of the ninja. No idea what that has to be. So if we go into the town, we have a gym here. Have you seen the have you seen this guy with a black cape? He has been going back and forth between here in the lake of rage, saying saying strange raider waves are being transmitted. Who is he, I wonder? I wonder if we can actually pick in on this. I'm not for sure. Okay. My heart looks very happy. Yes, it does. Now, what's up with this tree? I don't know. It looks kind of suspicious, really. You know, is anything in this town? I heard that a red Gyarados appeared at the Lake of Rage. It's odd, since even ordinary Gyaradoses are rare in, the, in that lake. My, my top radio show, I'd say Pokemon Music. So with that, we can go on into here. Some missable items in here. Huh? You heard the wind blowing, blowing into this room. That is just me whistling. Enough about that, won't you buy something? So you can go to this guy, he can get potions, tiny mushrooms, this is the only place you can actually buy tiny mushrooms, if only tiny mushrooms are actually useful. So this thing looks awfully suspicious if you ask me. Heh, <laughs> the experiment works like a charm. Magic carpet is worthless, but Gyarados are big money makers. Here's something strange. Yes it is. So, anyways, let's go ahead up here. On to Route 43. Of all things, yeah, so is there any new Pokemon in this route? I'm not sure, because I actually never made this far the last episode in recording. Oh, wait. I forgot there was a new Pokemon in Route 42. Uh, oops. So, I guess fighting Spencer, we might as well go over the new Pokemon on the previous route. That would be Mankey, if you. Anyway, Soul Server players got Meowth, so Hardcore players get Mankey. Mankey is an average fighting type Pokemon with decent attack and decent speed. That's about it, really. It's nothing really too amazing, amazing. I mean, it is, it is the fastest fighting Pokemon available right now, but... Not only that, but for the upcoming gym, it's very good with its good speed and generally good stats. 
It can be pretty good, however, though, it's a pretty big glass cannon. It's not really that bulky compared to Machamp, and I still think Machamp's a better option. But Mankey is still another good fighting type Pokemon to use. And plus, yeah, that's about it, really. So if you want to get fighting type Pokemon, there you go. There's not many other fighting type Pokemon available, so, um, uh, yeah. Anyways, a Zubat, I should probably go ahead and swap out. Spectre needs more experience. That's for sure. So yeah, so let's go ahead and side beam you. Ah, <sighs> beam. And Spectre grew to 25. Nice. And Sand Slash, I think that's a good amount of experience for Wallhart yet. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to be using the Rare Candies on Wallhart because I want him to get into his final form because he's going to evolve level 30 at level 31, but I have the rare candies for that. But I don't have enough rare candies to deal with his accuracy. Okay, gotta wither through your things. Quick Claw! Thank you, Quick Claw, you're the best. Swift isn't, though. No, oh, I'm just derping at this point. Come on, stop swifting me. Thank you. Thank you. Good night and happy potatoes. Aw, so close. Losing isn't fun at all. No, it probably isn't. So, anyways. Okay, I was going to say, but anyways, don't go through that gate if you know what's best for you. I know what's best for me. So we're going to take down this final trainer, which should be the last battle we will have, uh, Wallheart being his form. We're going to Lake Rage too. let's play for a little while. So I guess while going through this battle, um, there's actually another Pokemon. You can actually encounter Jarafric here. This is where you were intended to encounter Jarafric, but I might have already got me a Jarafric. Well, encountered Jarafric already, so I think Spectre could probably use some more experience. Since she is only the lo lowest level, um, Sabine would probably be best. I, since since the fairy already made it apparent that that it's going to encore, I don't want to be locked into using status, status inducing moves. All right, that's good. Very good. GG. And Clefairy's down. What? Well, heart? Oh, come on! Okay. Hey, you like the fairy too? They're so they're very cute, aren't they? I think we can be very good friends. Don't you? I want you. I want to know your phone number. Let's talk about Clefairy. Okay, Clefairy. Um, decent fairy type Pokemon in, in Gen Six. How close are you to leveling up? 15. No, Magikarp only provides 7, I do believe, still, so, um... Let's find something! You'll do fine, Marie. Come on, Marie, you shall be the sacrifice. That way I can promote Wallheart into the great, mighty, uh, to the great, uh, conqueror that you will be. So with that, I happen to have four rare candies for this momentous occasion. 28. Once one of them moves spikes, it, and I really don't need spikes because... That's only good for long battles, and generally, I kind of say, um, Stealth Rocks is much better. 29. 30. And 31. Once learned to move Payback, I, I want to teach this move. 
Uh, I think it'll be pretty useful. What do I not need? I don't need headbutt because I have more di 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 uh, diversity in the moves, and plus payback will be 100 power. And... Now have what fortress, it's, its final evolution. Let's learn to move mere shot. No, thank you. No, it's a steel type move. You don't have any special attack. Even though your nature is a more modest one, I don't need it. So with that, we now have Wallheart in fortress form. That 93 defense. That's pretty good. If I must say so myself. That 63 attack might not be the best, and uh, kind of one of the worst, actually. You will actually serve yourself well as a good wall. So with that, I think we made pretty good progress this episode. What is it, Todd? I'm trying to conclude an episode off here. Yes, your setup is very interesting. Yay, like I give a damn. You're going to get wrecked by Whitney. Yeah, yeah, you're trying very hard to keep up with me, but you're paralyzed. Anyways, next time in Pokemon Heart Gold, we will continue going through this route. Off screen, I'm since all my Pokemon have been uh, leveled up and trained and everything in their final form, I will be going through the previous routes. And picking up any spare trainers I haven't encountered yet. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, good night, happy potatoes.